All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tidbit because you guys watch my videos faithfully and all of that. Sometimes you don't, you may watch my news videos, but you might not watch my real videos, my other videos where I'm trying to give you tips and tricks. Look, if you spin the wheel and you get, and you get it in this here area, you want to get it like between the P and the O, but a little bit closer to the, to the P where I got it right there. You spin the wheel and you do that nine times out of 10 this is going to be your result. You're either going to get five hours worth of boost or you're going to get five hours worth of Gatorade. Let me show you the proof of that um, because check it out. I'm not going to have to buy Gatorade. You, you use this boost, you'll never, you, you use this, you'll never have to buy Gatorade again. You're not going to get it every time, but look, look at all the Gatorade I have. I got 76, 55, 55. If I continue to do this, I'll never have to buy Gatorade again at this rate because I'm not going to play 50 games before I before I uh, do that. I'd rather have a Gatorade than the uh, Boost anyway, but hey, it is what it is. Just wanted to throw that out there uh, for you guys to let you know. You know, I know everybody don't catch my other videos, so this is just something for my news people. Now, other than that, let's get right to the news. Uh, what do we say? Did we already miss it? Oh, well, well let's, let's just begin at the beginning. Uh, what do I call you guys? Uh, Jim Stars! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Listen to me. Got a lot to talk about. A little bit of time to talk about it in. Um, we're just gonna get right into it, man. The launch of 2K has been one that has not been the greatest and I think that 2K realizes that this launch has not been the greatest launch as Cap, can we get camera nine, please? Boom! Start the season with $20 off NBA 2K. This game is already said they, they try to dress it up and say all this other stuff. Uh Zion and 80. You can tell that bro, Zion is not even playing right now. But the game is $20 off, so if you want to get it on Xbox or if you want to get it on a PS4, you know, get the cross edition. Hey, if you're going to do like me and just say, I'm not getting either one, I, I refuse to do anything until they fix the game, you know. But I do want to play with my Xbox people, so I may go ahead and get it. But if you want to get the game for a different system, this may be the time. But if it's $20 off now, if we, may, if we wait until Black Friday, it may be dead enough, the game might be $10. So if you guys that are on Xbox and all that can wait just a little bit longer for your boy, save me a spot on the team. You might see me in my career this weekend on Xbox. Let me know what build I should make. Let me know your t-shirt size so you can, you can get one of these t-shirts right here, have a chance to win all that. Let me know what builds you have and what, what so we can know, so I can know what we can possibly squad up with, um, you know, when I get over there to Xbox. But with the game being $20 off, we already know why it's twenty dollars off this week. Come on, man, man, come on, man. Tomorrow we got Modern Warfare. We have Modern Warfare coming out tomorrow, and if that game is even remotely good, my two K time will be decreased a lot. Now I'm still gonna play Wreck. I'm still gonna play Part with you guys. I'm still gonna do that. But I'm talking about as far as streaming, it may not be the case just because of the fact that there are a lot of good games good games that are coming out this year if these games are good man i'm going to be i'm going to be playing the games i'm not going to lie to you i'm not going to be stuck on one game i will bring the news every day i will find something to report to you guys every day something to talk about every day gameplays all that good stuff but i'm going to be playing other games especially on twitch and stuff like that so just be mindful of that and you should too man you should never just get all your bad eggs in one basket playing one game and just say hey you know, this is the end all be all. That's why I don't get as upset with 2K as a lot of people do just because I play other games. I'll go play Apex. Game get too stupid, I'm gonna go play Call of Duty. Game get too stupid, I'm gonna go do something else. I used to go play Fortnite, but that game is just just silly now. So, you know, it's still a good game, don't get me wrong, but you know, I, I just can't play it anymore because I can't build. I never liked to build in that spec, and, and that's just what it is. But this game of 2K right here, man, it is just getting, right now getting to the point where I don't know where we are, what we're going to do. Uh, I, 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 just, I just have no clue, man. And that brings us to point number two. What is actually ruining the game? And your boy Duke Dennis did ask the other day, do you believe that YouTubers are ruining the game? 
And my answer was, yeah, a lot of YouTubers are ruining the game, but not in the way that you think it is. The big YouTubers, they have a voice in the game and they do get some things changed, but those things that they get changed, we can adapt to those. The people that are ruining the game, well, I guess you can say that the big YouTubers are ruining the game inadvertently because the way that they conduct everything and the way that they hold just such a tight stranglehold on being up top and don't don't share any of the love, don't do anything. We got such a, I did it myself mentality that, that, that I'm not helping anybody else and none of that stuff. I've never been that way. Maybe that's the reason I can't grow. But but they have such a mentality like that, that the I'll see you at the top mentality. So when you get up to the top, you think they hollering at you because they want to help you out, but they really hollering at you so they can get some of those fresh subs so they can get more views on their channel too. But this is such a, I see you at the top type thing. So when you get to the top and when you get to two, 300,000, then they'll start reaching out. Do you want to do videos with you? Because they want some of those fresh 200,000 subs that you have and such that, that you know they'll start working with you collabing and both of you guys will gain from it but what does that leave the mid tier and the low tier youtuber like i can get i can put out certain videos and i can get ten thousand views some people can't get a hundred views on their video so what are they going to do because of that they're gonna put out glitch videos because those are the videos that you can get the views on the most the, the easiest if you don't think that putting the smaller youtuber at such a dis and yeah they gotta grind there ain't no doubt about it they gotta grind they have to get their stuff together they gotta go through the paces too but if you think that the if you think that the smaller youtuber doesn't feel like the only way they can get views is by putting out glitches and exploits and that's why they do it you're insane and that's why they do it and if you don't think that that type of stuff doesn't drive what happens in the game think about it this way the demigod glitch was out last year it was in 2k19 but nobody did it because nobody put out the tutorial on how to do it. Nobody knew about it. Fast forward to this year. They put out the tutorial on NBA 2K20. Somebody didn't have 2K20. They said, well, I'm going to try it on 19. They tried it on 19. It works. It shows that it has been in the game for the last few years. Now you have nothing but demigods in 2K19. And that influenced the game. So what I'm saying is, yes, YouTubers do have an impact on the game and what happens in the game as far as ruining the game but it's just not it's not as a direct way as far as saying hey mike change this hey mike change that sometimes it is that direct where they i've seen it in streams hey mike change this hey mike change that this needs to happen that needs to happen i have seen that happen but i think the bigger effect is that nobody acknowledges anybody in the community smaller than them unless it unless there's an advantage to it and because of that you got a lot of youtubers that are stagnant can't grow and because of that they're gonna do what they can do the fastest way they can so it's gonna be putting out glitches and exposing glitches and and stuff like that instead of just pounding the concrete and putting up the content for three or four years when you're a kid three or four when i'm when you when you my age three or four years is nothing you'd be like if i can if i can if you tell me Go put in the work for three or four years, and then the fruits of your labor are gonna happen like they are now. I can do that to a kid. Two or three years is a lifetime. So you know what I'm saying? They're not even thinking that far ahead. So they they're going to do the fat. They're gonna take the fastest route to success. It just is what it is. Brain's not developed all the way. All that prefrontal lobe, all that good stuff. It is what it is. But like I said, YouTubers are actually direct uh, are impacting the game and in effect ruining the game but it's not for the reason that you think. Like I said, VC glitches, they gotta put those out there. Gl regular glitches and, and other stuff, demigod glitches. This is the first time a demigod glitch, somebody actually put that out in a few years and it worked and then it worked retroactively. That's insane. But like I said, 2K, if you don't get your act together, you're probably gonna have to make the game free and just try to survive off microtransactions because at this rate, I don't even know if we're gonna get Christmas news this year because the game is getting such bad reviews and the problem is it could be such a good game, but to keep changing and altering and patching things and all that good stuff, doing that to everything except what matters is not a good look for you, 2K. I'm just gonna be 100% real with you. But like I said, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Is it the bigger YouTubers ruining it? Is it the smaller YouTubers ruining it? Or is it more in line with what I'm saying? And do you feel like 
because the bigger YouTubers have that stranglehold and are not letting anybody else in, the smaller YouTubers got to do anything to get their channel some some love and support, and thus this is what we end up with. I mean, I think, like I said, it's 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 rob from the rich, give to the poor. Or you got people in a desperate situation. That's what they're gonna do anyway, man. But it ain't real life. That's all that matters. Uh one one thing. Speaking of speaking of YouTubers, man, I do want to give a shout out to my guy, um, All City. All City did. I mean, his link is gonna be down in the description. Cap number nine, bro. Come on. Look, listen, man. All City did a fantastic video on strength. Does strength matter? Does strength not matter? Now, this is what he did. He made two players, and he made the same exact player. The only difference was he gave one max weight, and he gave one uh, minimum weight. And he played, uh, you know, played the game, saw how it worked, see, see, saw if he could get blow bys and all of that, the effectiveness of playing with the, was there any difference? And uh, if you want to know what the difference was, you gonna have to go over there and watch the video, man. Like I said, my guy does some very good videos, man. So go over there, let him know what's up. Uh, let him know that you appreciate this. And like I said, bro, like there's a lot of people in the community that do, that do great videos and they're just trying to get out there. All City is one of them. Laker Fan is one of them. I uh, showed, I, you know, I put videos out there. Hey man, say man does some good videos. All those guys do very good videos, man. But armed with that information that you get from All Cities, uh, video you will definitely want to have the respect system in the game we need the respect system the way that it could work it doesn't have to cost 2k any money like just think about it like this people probably thinking well if you can respect your player then nobody then you know 2k can't make any money yes they can if they told me hey hey easy look pay you gotta pay you gotta pay for your attributes but you can respect your player but you gotta pay 200 200 000 vc in order to get him back to where he was or whatever or or to respect him and then he can be back to a 95 or and then i gotta grind in the 99 but you pay 200 grand boom you get the player respect he's already at 95 with all of the badges unlocked and then you can just go from there think about how many people would do that because the only thing that's stopping me from making another player is i don't want to go through the badge grind if i'm paying two hundred thousand to skip the grind and then it'll be a 95 and then i have to grind on the 99 i would be all for that because there are some attributes on my player that i would like to change around just like i'm sure like some people would like to change some attributes around on their centers they might want to make them 611 now or make them 16 now but the two hundred thousand vc barrier would keep people from doing it just all willy-nilly like you can't respect the player over and over and over just be like hey we about to play the pro and we need a center okay i'm gonna make a center like you can't do that unless you're willing to pay the 200,000 vc every time and then the game is set up in such a way where you can grind that 200 vc 200,000 vc pretty easily it's just an idea that i had man so that's the way that we can get the respect but not cost them any money just let me have all the badges and then just you can just have an equal number of badges uh opened up that you have in that category already. Or let's say if you have a player that's got 60 badges, it'll unlock 60 badge points for you, and then you allot them where you want to. And then if it, let's say if you open up a player that has 66 badges, then you have to grind the additional six badges. But if you have fewer badges, like if you got 66 badges already, and then you have to, you got a player that has 30 badges, then all 30 badges will be unlocked. I, I just think that that would be a good idea because the biggest thing that people want to save in 2K is time. The game is not difficult. Nobody cares about how hard it is. We just want to save time. I just want to respect my player and make him, you know, a little bit more in line. But like I said, if you if you want to know if weight and and size and all that matter, you got to go check out All City's video. On to our next joint. All right, so check it out. Uh, NBA 2K Lab. If you feel like your jumper's been off and you were using one of these jumpers, you may want to head on over to NBA 2K Lab because they said they have updated the shots for patch 1.07 for bases. 98, Tony Parker, Rudy Gay, Trey Burke, uh, base 38, and, and and more. And they said they're going to increase and they increase the sample size to 500 shots instead of 200 shots. Uh, difficult shots video is on the way, and that's going to be later today. Hey, look, man, I'm going to tell you straight up. Um, yeah, they did change some bases and they tweaked them. And what it seems like they did was, and if you, you go to, and 2K Lab confirms this, because my jump shot was feeling a little bit off. And I went in there and I looked, 
and yes it was milliseconds different so it made my shot like that much slower but if i were to put on gold um gold quick draw then it would be too fast so i had to just adjust with silver quick draw and just hold it a little bit longer so they absolutely did change some shots according to 2k lab i got the premium you know my boy my boy let me hold a premium so you know we we, we're doing that i'm just going to convey that information to you if you need the premium uh you might want to go over there or holler at somebody you might want to netflix that thing you know somebody netflix that thing share that code or something like that bah! you know what i'm talking about bah! so you might want to do that because uh this is very important information uh last but not least man let's see what we went through uh last but not least the tennessee's glitch is alive and wet bro i wish i had a recorded this we definitely played against a person that had 100% draw foul tendency on yesterday. Let me tell you what I did, man. I was playing off the ball. Dude's at the top of the key. I'm over here in the corner. I reached to try to steal the pass. Dude passed the ball to the guy. My dude literally ran from the from the corner to the top of the key and fouled the dude as if I had pressed intentional foul. And man, man was like, bro, I got like three fouls in the first quarter against this dude. What's going on? I'm telling you that Tennessee's glitch is alive and well and P and it affects the game impacts the game more than people would think and it's something that people would never really think to look at like nobody would ever think to look at somebody's tendencies we're gonna look at badges we're gonna look at stuff like that we're not gonna look at your tendencies and stuff like that 2k has got to be fixed man it's gonna make the wreck unplayable i mean at the end of the game the dude was like clear out i'm gonna go draw a foul and guess what he drove hop step and drew a foul nobody even jumped at it it was crazy it's like and that cost us the game. And then, like, I even pressed. I pre It was another part in the game where I pressed square, and I wasn't even really close to him, and they made me foul him, and I kind of sold that game. But they tied the game, and then he came back and drew the foul again, so I felt less bad about it. It is what it is, man. Like, like there's, it's just way too much glitching going on. You can't tell if you got an honest game. You can't tell anything, really, in this game. You can't tell what's straight up or anything. But, hey, we're going to figure it out, man. Uh, also, Poor Boy Sin hit Elite 3, Big Elite 3, for poor boy sin put that big sin down in the chat man also put your shirt size for a chance to win this if you skipped around the video but uh you know shout out to my guy um you know leader in the race on ps4 the only uh system that matters ding! If, if this was one of them tv stuff ding! i'm just joking man but look though i can tell you one thing somebody ain't glitching but this dude right here wish he was hey poor boy sin like he said his grind is like no other he's grinding this thing doing it um on stream or with beast mode on stream by himself 100 percent of the time it is what it is man we got other people out there that are piling up look i don't care if somebody's using two or three people to do it as long as you're admitting that you're doing it because like i said i don't feel like i just don't see a way that like my guy jay fox again he was going against the guys last year he was grinding by himself more or less and the guys from china were grinding 24 hours and they beat him by a week like if, if it's five people standing up on something and grinding, you're not going to beat them. But it is what it is, man. Uh, look, only thing I want to tell y'all is camera nine. We got the L of the day for y'all right here, man. And I'm going to let y'all get up out of here, man. Sorry the video was so long, but check it out. The the, the man of the hour, Pope Boy Sin, he's got his mascot. Beast Mode comes in, passes him the ball. Pope Boy Sin says, whoop, woo, and then two steps to the side, trades up. Splash time. Let's see that one more time. Whoop. Slip. Slip and slide. One more time. Whoop. Bro. It said, hey, man. Hey, it said, hey, man. You, it's something dangerous going on. Your shoe is untied. Let me tie that for you. No, I'm good, playboy. Let me pull up. Trays up. Splash time. Bro, why you even trying to get back in here? Come over here. Like, like old folks say, whoop. I hope you on the ground. You reach out, teach, young brother. Whoop. Now, come over here and get your picture taken. That's what we say. Come get your picture taken. <laughs> hey, I can't lie, man. That right there, I was crying last night when I seen that right there. That's the L of the day. Poor boy, poor boy saying, y'all know who he is, man. Link down in the description, but y'all already know who he is. Uh, leader on PlayStation, uh, Chalk the Leader on Xbox, and then I think we got some other people. I know it's somebody else out there that's like grinding with 19 people on an account that's probably ahead of both of them, but hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all guys keep grinding, keep grinding uh, by yourself, and you're gonna get there, man. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if I uh, made any mistakes down there. Uh, 2K, $20 off, Poor Boy CN Elite 3. 
um, you, the YouTubers, how they, how the game is really being ruined by YouTubers, and uh, they need, they do need to let us respect these players, and we'll even take the charge to do it. Would you pay to respect your player? I'm not gonna lie, I would. Let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know your T-shirt size. Let me know if the spinning wheel method worked for you. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Godspeed.